Have you ever thought of building the video call applications such as Google Meet or Zoom? Or if you have an app idea that contains the chat features like WhatsApp, and if you are scared of writing thousands of lines of code, let me introduce to you something called Zigo Cloud. And if you use their Zigo Cloud UI kit, you can build any kind of video call applications or a chat features like Zoom or WhatsApp within just few minutes. If you are thinking what is Zigo Cloud, it is a powerful real-time communication platform that helps developers to add an audio, video calls, or live streaming, chat, and more into their our applications. It's super quick and easily you can do this. And the best part is you don't have to be an UI UX expert to build these beautiful interfaces. All thanks to their plug and play UI kits. Let me walk you through their UI kits quickly. UI kits are the pre-built interface templates provided by Zigo Cloud exclusively. All you have to do is just drag and drop and integrate with your applications, no coding. You get a professional looking video call screens, real-time chat UIs, and even a virtual gifting and co-hosting components. All customizable that match your branding. If you're thinking why we have to use Zigo Cloud UI kits, let me tell you, it's real. Building real-time features from the scratch takes weeks, months, maybe even sometimes takes six or seven months. But with the Zigo Cloud UI kit, you can get it done in just few minutes. It saves time, look professional, reduce bugs, and you can just focus on your business logic instead of reinventing the entire wheel. And yes, everything is customizable from buttons to layout to the colors. Using Zigo Cloud UI kits is as easy as importing the library, install the SDK, initialize it, and boom, you have a fully working video call or a chat UI ready to go. Just few lines of code and you are live. Whether you are a solo developer or even if you are running a startup or even if you are an enterprise developer, if you are building a social application, an education platform or a telehealth application or anything with real time interactions, Jigo Cloud UI kits are made for you. Click the link in the description section of this video to try out the Zigo Cloud UI kits. If you sign up through the link, you will get 10,000 free minutes with the UI kits. That is more than enough for your hobby project or try out their features. Once you signed up, you will get 10,000 free minutes to your account. That will more than enough for creating the hobby project or a professional looking application using the Zigo Cloud UI kits. I will quickly walk you through how you can create your very first project inside the Zigo Cloud. If you log into your account and go to the dashboard, you will see this icon create your project. Just click on this and from this project directory, you can select one of the option which you want to create the project. If you are creating the voice and video call application, select the first one. If you are creating the live streaming, select the appropriate option. These options are self-explanatory. Based on your requirement, go ahead and create the project. I'm going to select voice and video call. Click next. Provide the application name or the project name. There are two different ways to get started. One is using the UI kits and the SDKs. I highly recommend you to check out their UI kits because these are the pre-built SDKs so that you can easily integrate with your application and you don't have to write a lot of code. With just few lines of code, you can easily integrate with this. I highly recommend you to go ahead with the UI kits. Select start with UI kits. Of course, you can explore the custom SDKs as well. This will take a couple of seconds to initialize your application. Just sit tight and wait for some time. The application is created. It will automatically direct you to the project management. If not, you can just click on the option. And from this, you have to select the framework which you want to create the application for, whether you are creating for web, iOS, Android, or Flutter, or React Native. I'm going to select web because I'm just creating it for web. And here we have to select the basic configurations like you are creating it one-on-one -on -one call or a group call and you have to select the options, microphone, camera, audio settings. There are a bunch of options available. You can select based upon your requirement. And once you are happy with the configurations, just go ahead and save and start the integration. 
it will gives us the options such as the configuration file and the integrated so just click on this and you will get the app id and server secret make sure to do not share this app id and secret server secret with anybody and what you need to do is now once we received the app id and server secret this will be in the testing mode we can once we have integrated with our application once everything testing is everything is completed then we can change the status of the project to online that will available for the production okay now what i'll do is let's quickly open the visual studio code and i have already created a folder zigo co zigo cloud demo let's quickly create the react project and let's integrate the ui kit and i will show you how easy it is to integrate with your applications i'm just demonstrating with react application you can use it with angular view any other programming languages you can easily integrate with i'm going to quickly open the terminal let's quickly create the react tweet project i'm going to select the react framework i'm going to select javascript and let me navigate to the tweet project and i'm going to install the npm dependencies and you can see the project has been created and it will start installing the dependencies we will get the node modules okay we got the the npm install installation is done we got the node modules next let's open the src and inside this app.css let's remove everything and inside this index.css let's remove everything and i'm going to add some default styling padding 0% margin i'm going to add 0 and save this next let's go to the app.jsx let me remove everything save this now let's go to the documentation for the zigo cloud their documentation is very good it is self explanatory anybody can easily understand by just reading their documentation i will show you how you can easily find the documentation head over to the browser and navigate to zigo cloud ui kits and here you can select the developers options and select the documentation from this variety of products you can select the one that you are looking for i'm going to select on this video call i'm looking for the documentation for video call and in the left hand side you can select the programming language since i'm using the javascript i'm going to select web and also you have to select the option the products option that is we are using the zigo cloud ui kits so let's select the call kit call kit and here you can see we have a option called quick start just click on this and using npm package manager the best way to use npm package manager is to quickly start it i'm going to install the sdk just copy this and let me open the terminal i'm going to install the dependencies the sdk and next let me close this and go back and we have this option we have this documentation then replace the app id and server secret id we have to replace this app id and server secret id with the one we have available in our project i'm going to copy everything and paste it now what we need to do is we need to add the app id and the secret id never we have to add this secret id and app id directly into our application we have to actually add it to in our environment variables but for the time being what i'll do is inside the src folder i'm going to create a new file constant.js and inside this let's quickly export a function export const this is going to be app constant this is an object inside this i'm going to add the app id i will also add 
the server secret let's quickly add the app id i'm going to copy the app id and paste it this is actually going to be a number and let's quickly add the server secret as well let me add comma here and save this now we can use this app id and server secret inside the app.jsx scroll down you will see this option let me find where we have to add okay we have to add the app id what i'll do is i'm going to import it from the constants or app id app constants dot app id we need the server secret server secret let's save this with this we have just integrated the ui kit inside our application that's it you don't have to do anything all we need to do is we have to start the application and we can test it our application is already started let me see let's open the terminal let's quickly start the application npm run dev this will start the development server 5173 let's open the browser and navigate to localhost 5173 and boom you can see we got the let me mute this and you can see we easily we get the UI kit we have the join room option and the text box and the join button and the share link we can share this link with anybody else they can also join the meeting room let me join first okay the user has been joined and we got all the options like microphone video option and we can share the screen and we can also see the members that who are all joined and the chat option let me open a new tab and i'm going to join the meeting enter this and we can join the room let me mute this i'm going to provide the name let's say bushan and i'm going to click on this join you can see the two persons has been joined okay similarly we can join any number of persons to the call let me join with the one more person person 3 and join and you can see now we have three persons in the meeting and we can disable the uh, the four person the third person's camera i have turned off and we can also turn off the second person camera and similarly the first person camera we can turn off and we can easily share the screen as well and their documentation by reading the documentation you can easily customize this right for example if you go back to their documentation and if you scroll down you will see this custom pre-built features you can literally customize their features you can see if you want to only make the audio only session you can just select this and scroll down you can just add these options for this join room method if you copy this let me close this and we have this method called join room and to this method we are going to pass the object and for that object we are going to pass the options like turn on camera when joining show my camera toggle button we are going to set all these to false and save this now if you go back and application will be reload you can see we don't have any option that is showing the camera option okay everything has been disabled we are only making it as audio only sessions right it is very easy to customize these ui kits i highly recommend you to check out these ui kits it's pretty easy pretty straightforward i have used it for multiple clients and they are happy with it all right that's all about this zigo cloud ui kits i hope you enjoyed this video session i drop a link in the description section of this video for their documentation also if you sign up through the link you will get 10000 free minutes that is more than enough for test out their features and to create the hobby project. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.